Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen. Now, we lost the claim of the province. No longer claim grain or... Yeah, this is kind of what I was expecting. I have no plans to go to war with Mushasha. I think I'm more interested in trying to kill off the Mamluks, because that'll mean it'll be just me and the, the Ottomans here in the east uh, to hold off the European hordes. You know, uh, but pretty much what we're going to be working on here is, again, we're just going to be stabilizing our nation. We're waiting for our manpower to recover. Uh, we're going to, I'm kind of annexing a vassal. I will get a royal marriage with the Ottomans. So it's definitely worth it. I want to keep my power projection nice and high. Uh, Eclipsing Mercuria kind of helped out here, keeping this high. Um, we're going to try and conquer some more provinces from the Mamluks here in the not too distant future. Okay, Mushasha was building a spy network up in me. Okay. So let's move towards mysticism again. Uh, I'm moving towards mysticism because I want to convert some of these provinces. Of tea and sugar, originally a Chinese beverage, tea became a, the new Portuguese national drink after its introduction to Portugal. Mixed with sugar is consumed by the rich, the poor, and even queen consort region Maria. Maria to Mar Maria? Maria? Maria. Okay, so we we don't, I don't think our force limit went up, did it? It did go up by one, so we'll have to kind of think about that. I am tempted. I'm really tempted to start building some of these regimental camps to let me get a bigger army, which would let me punch uh, on a similar level to the Mamluks, because I do have now. Uh, I will have enough favors with the Ottomans, which will allow me to drag them into another war with the Mamluks in a few years. I'm probably going to be waiting until I've annexed my vassal before I do that because that'll net me um, a lot more income, a lot more just generally everything, if I can get my vassal annexed. That'll take, I forget, what time will it be done? April, so it'll be done about a year. Aha, excellent. My uh, my general got a, got a pip. He got a pip, he got a, he got a shock pip. That's the best one to get. So that'll bring him up to a slightly better level. I really love this new uh, drilling feature. It's, a, it's probably my favorite feature from the uh, new, new thingy. Ah, Taif. That's Taif. Where's Taif? So I don't know all these provinces off by heart. So Taif, that's this thing here. Is that just a single province? So it's one of my one of my provinces gets uh, the prominent citizens. Uh, prominent citizens of Mecca have made a number of charitable donations from the establishment of a new. Madrasa in Taif. They have invited scholars not only from the wider Mecca but also from Taif and even foreign theologians. Excellent. So that'll give me uh, a bit of a development discount. Let's see here. Foreign theologians, alive in scholarship. The theologians of the country come to the local religious scholarship. They have left their mark upon the country and inspired new generations of ulema. So do we move towards legalism? I don't want to move towards legalism. National unrest advisor is cheaper. I could use a cheap level two advisor, but I think I'm going to say give me admin power, even though I really don't want legalism right now because I'm trying to convert provinces. I'm really tempted by religious ideas. Let's see, Ethiopia's, let's continue to rely on our own pe people. Ethiopia, I would gain... Oh, I spent 271 ducats and I gain professionalism. I don't think that's worth it. I really don't. Considering I'm getting... 1% um, per year. I think I... I think that's not worth it. That's not worth that much of my income. Gain 90 ducats. Gain 15 prestige. Oh man, the prestige would be quite nice. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take the ducats because I'd like to have my, my money. I'd like, I'd like to be up over a thousand ducats right here at this point of the game. 
Adal is the second conquest of Adal in Weilata. Weilata is allied with Mercuria and Medribari. The good news is, I have a claim in Mercuria, and I'll be nabbing up some of their provinces. I might even fully annex them if I can. So let's accept. Let's have a look at who we're at war with. All right, this is just a baby war. All right, let's just go get this handled real quick. Abdallah, the great statement, has died. Let's bring this down to speed three while we go fight this war real quick. Ooh, you're having a bit of trouble there, Adal. Be careful, buddy. You never know when you might get into trouble. So we'll go, we'll plonk someone in there to get that going, and then we'll go capture Shendi and Berber and Dongola and all that. Oh god, there's an airplane going over my house. <laughs> Perfectly timed airplane. But we'll go get uh, Mercuria occupied so that we can get maybe some provinces off them. I would like more. Can I, if I indicate to my ally that I want these provinces, I'm hoping that he'll give them to me. Because if I look at what he wants... Reasonable. I'm hoping he gives me some of these, otherwise I'll be at peace um, with these guys for no reason. The Amir's estate gain loyalty, or I could gain army professionalism. If I call the diet, that would get them up to 15%. 50% and then I could demand military support and gain loyalty off them again. So let's call a diet, gain 100 points off them, and then give them 10 loyalty. And that'll keep them nice and happy for a while. Now, as much as I would love to research this military technology, I'm going to go ahead and finish my aristocratic ideas because that'll give me leader siege pips and available mercenaries. They lose 10 influence, all right, that's grand, that was well-timed. Speaking of, uh, speaking of guys in here, let's talk to the merchant guilds. I would really, oh, draft ships for war. Start construction of five carracks for 0% of the cost and 50% of the time. Holy crap. Jesus Christ, you could just get free heavies? Is that, those are heavies, right? Yeah, you could just get five free heavies off your merchant guild, that's nuts. What I would really like is diplomatic support. So if I were to grant them monopoly charters, they would go up to 80% influence. I don't want them to go disloyal. So I might wait till they're a little more friendly to me. Oh, this is, oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. These guys are 58% loyal. I could get a contribution and a diplomatic thingy off them. If I were to grant them monopoly charters and diplomatic support, they would go up over their number. But I think no price meddling would go away first. Here, grant monopoly charter, demand diplomatic support, and ask for contribution. So they're still loyal. Now we are moving towards a disaster because of that, I think. Capture these provinces. I don't like to split up my army too much, but I will split it in half. So do we want to grab innovative ideas or I think I think now is the time to get tech while it's nice and cheap. So here we go. The plutocratic coup. It's going up by one per month, which means you get 12 points per year, which means by the time this is going to fire some of the modifiers here. Some of the modifiers on the merchant guilds, the um, the no, no price meddling modifier, that one should go away by the time they're ready to do their coup. 
So I'm not worried about that at all. Um, I would like to get Dynamic Court, but I think it's actually a better spending of my cash if I grab some of these techs. They're claiming my provinces. Let's bring this army down to deal with some of these guys. We're capturing Mercuria, which is nice. Okay, this is, a, this is a nice cheap war where we might get a province or two. But more importantly, it's just something to do while we wait for uh, wait for our nation to recover. Okay, we took another province. Spread up here. See if we can't knock these guys down. There we go. So we should smash them to pieces. We have a much better army than them. Nice, a stack wipe. I seem to get stack wipes occasionally. Ah, I can purchase a Splendor ability. Alright, I did the Convert Provinces. Let's see, Prestige for per development from Missionary. Mercenary Discipline. Score cost versus other religions. Blockade impact on Siege. Resistance to Reformation. None of these abilities really amaze me. Holy crap, Spanish Tercios. 30% shock damage. Mughal. 50% artillery cost. Goods produced modifier Poland. Holy crap. Persian reinforcements. Reinforced cost 30% is Persia. Jesus. I think we'll do prestigious conversion because we're in the process of trying to get some places converted. Let's take our tech right now uh, while it's while they're going cheap. While it's going cheap. What is it? 444 points. Nice one. The textile manufactory. Mace Lander merchants. I don't know what that does, but I'm looking forward to it. Let's go conquer the capital. Let's go capture their capital as well over here. So if we look up here, the in this institution should have actually started spreading already. Pretty quickly, like you can see Trier got it like really, really quick. But uh, it's already like hitting places like Brittany. It's already hitting places like Aragon, Portugal, pretty slowly, I'll admit, you know, I'll, I'll say it. It's not, it's not the fastest. But it's, it's, it's hitting up, in particular, I'm really glad it's hitting the Ottomans early, because that means it'll hit the Mamluks early, which means it'll hit me early, which means I won't have to, I won't suffer quite a bad, a pen, as bad a penalty as I'm, as I'm used to suffering um, over the years. Like a 4% is not so bad, all things considered. So why don't you go capture this province? Capture this fort. So I think he took peace with Medri Bari. I saw the Wadi Hafez come under our occupation. Okay, great. Did we loot all these provinces? Not really. We'll spend some time looting. Age of Reformation. I'm really excited to play around with the absolutism mechanic because I haven't actually played, I haven't played around with it much. So I'm, I'm wondering, you know, what does it do for me? Ooh. Uh, I might need to send an insult soon. Let's insult the Mamluks. Move towards mysticism, please. Excellent. That should almost bring me up to enough to actually start converting this again. We're so close. Come on. We're really, really close. Ah, yes. Look, he gave me provinces. Amazing. Amazing. He gave me... He actually, he actually gave me provinces. Although we need to... We need to be careful here. The people are getting a bit upset about my, my expansion. But we got more more provinces on the Horn of Africa, which is good. A lot of it's Coptic. It's a problem. It's a bit of a problem. It's all Coptic, but we'll uh, we'll work our way around that. Let's bring up the the autonomy. Okay, let's core this land. Oh, soba is expensive.
But we may as well get started on these cheaper ones. The faster we get them done, the uh, the better. Okay, the Ulema are demanding... Um, They'll help with unrest in here. Which would be handy. So I'll put the Ulema in charge of this. And in charge of... Uh, I can't do these ones actually, never mind. But I'll give the Ulema a province. We need more cores if we can get them. Making lots of points. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be able to run level 3 advisors at some point in the future. But I'm not really getting anything that brings the cost of my advisors down, which is a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a big problem, uh, truth be told. Now, I did the interactions with the merchant guilds, and they, uh, they became less powerful, which is good. So let's talk to the Ulema. If I seek... This will move me towards legalism, which is not ideal. Dimmy. Keep the tolerance of heathens going. Wait, what's going on here? Plutocratic coup. What? Oh, their their power went up again. Interesting. That's okay. Again, I'm not worried about that. That'll go away on its own eventually. So we're capturing the uh, the forts. I think we don't need to do that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have our units hang out in soba and stuff like that and drill on those tiles to uh, prevent. You know, uprisings. But I'm really glad my ally decided to give me this. Because now I feel like I owe him. I have a lot of favours with him, so I can call him to wars and stuff, which is good. Although he doesn't seem to want to go to war with the Mamluks. He's, he seems to think it's really far away when it's... I feel like it's not that far to the Mamluks for him. We're all, we've almost on... Uh, on... We've almost annexed Hormuz, which is good. I'm starting to feel bigger and bigger already. I'm catching up. Ah, Russia has formed. Excellent. So he's ever so slightly bigger than Denmark. So here's the Russian bear rearing its head. The world is starting to take shape. It's exciting. Excellent. We're moving into the 15, uh, the sort of late 1500s now. We're, we're like in the mid 1500s, but we're kind of moving into the late 1500s. You know what I mean? Which uh, has some exciting potential here. So I'm going to kind of stick you guys together. I won't drill you just yet, but I'll have you stand there because I don't need you otherwise. I'm surprised this hasn't been captured. Let's speed up the time, because I think it's a 40-day... Yeah, it's a 40-day siege tick, which is not, like, you know, ideal. Ooh, gain mercantilism or diplo points. The diplo points would let me get a tech, I think. Just about. Cost reducing war exhaustion... Improve relations. This would get me yearly prestige, which would be really, really great. Because it would mean my prestige would sit at a, a much higher level than it currently is. And there's a lot of really good benefits to having a high prestige. Like institution embracement cost, global trade power, morale of armies. Um... Oh, we could gain two mercantilism, which is good, like, long term. Makes my embargo stronger. It gives me more trade power. I'll take the Diplo points. Right now is the best time to get tech, so I'm going to be getting tech. But once I hit 25% institution penalty, I'll probably work on, um, on other things. We just got free army tradition, professionalism, which is quite good. So let's go ahead and transfer this to Adal. Okay, they owed us 40 favors because I did so much. So you need to come up here and start um, drilling. You could also use another unit. I'm thinking 10 infantry is a good number. We also need to make this core here in a month or two. Evangelical Union. Uh, after Emperor Mary directed the Protestant Convention at the Imperial Parliament, the Protestant imperial estates formed a League of Schmalkalden 
uh, with a joint army and treasure in seeking ties abroad. The German Catholic states feeling threatened by the new alliance have regrouped into the Catholic League. The stage is set for religious conflict in the Empire. Excellent. This is really good. Europe is weakened. Oh my god. So there's some undecided states. So it looks like there's gonna be some conflict. Exciting news. Although the Empire is like mostly Protestant. I'm surprisingly England or Britain didn't become Protestant either. Which is a bit odd. Looks like it's literally just Germany that became Protestant. Germany and like a small little piece of France-ish. Kind of Belgium. A little bit of Eastern Germany and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we're working on... We're working on turning the world into a Muslim world. So, unify Islam. On Thatha Cordoba, Constantini, Medina, Messina, Palermo, Dagestan, Dimisha, Samarkand, Ifni, Adan, owned by Yemen. All provinces Muslim religion group. Administrative power at least 200 and 200. So what does this actually give me? Stability cost, missionary strength, and ooh, interesting. Reform the government. Administrative tech level 12. Administrative monarchy. Um, oh, I like that. Adopt a Mamluk government. Kahira. So is this... Mamluks does not exist. So the Mamluks have to be gone. Country changes to Mamluks. Current ruler will die. Current heir will die. Mamluks. Increase centralization. National unrest. New traditions and ambitions happens. Mamluks gain a permanent claim on the... Ooh. Egypt region. So I think I want to be the Mamluks now. Austria joined the Catholic League. So it looks like the stage is set for major conflict in the Empire here. Exciting news. I'm going to save up for the tech itself. We're almost done with the vassalization of Hormuz. Uh, you can drill. We want to get our drill up. And we also want to get our... Um, we want to get our army tradition up. That's really important. Uh, I can core this now. So coring is going. I need to be careful of some little things. Let's just make sure we check on this idea as well occasionally. So Ethiopia is no longer a valid rival. So it looks like we're growing quite rapidly, I would say. We have a lot of points with the Mamluks. I think, I think it's time to fabricate some claims. So we got these two, if I check correctly. Okay, we have claims here and here. Uh, I do want Khalaib. How much is the claim? Okay, what about the Ottomans? Do you have claims? Okay, you have claims too, so I want to give you some provinces of the Mamluks. Between us, we're gonna eat the we're gonna eat the Mamluks and beat and together become superpowers. That's the goal. I wanna I wanna beat the Mamluks. And we I think we can do it with the help of the Ottomans, the superpower. Jesus Christ, the Ottomans are becoming scary. <laughs> They're becoming really, really scary. Uh, I think I need to turn off some of these institution spreads. So I'll say no edict. And here. I had a monthly autonomy edict in here. How did that go for me? Well, it looks like we're going to be leaving that one in for a while. Because the Sufi shrine is... Uh, is the site of a tomb of a prom prominent Sufi. The Sufi shrine is slowing that down. But there's also a prominent Sufi shrine right here. Hey, that's fine. Local unrest, tax income. Kind of hurts, makes it harder to conquer, but... Eh. I think it's I think it's fine. I think it's it's totally fine. We have local nobility, we have ICTA, we have centralization effort. We're working towards it. it it'll, it'll come down slowly. Slowly but surely. Speaking of autonomy, what's our general sort of autonomy picture looking like? Very high autonomy over here. Um, would it be worth it? Mm, maybe not. But otherwise, our picture of our autonomy is actually fairly good. Now, in Upper Nubia, I think it absolutely would be worth doing a enforced religious unity. So let me have a look. Where is this missionary actually working in Muscat? Let me have a look. Can I make this into a state and then enforce religious unity? 
the emirs want more provinces, so let me go into the emirs. Alright, what province can I give you? I don't want to give you a coastal province. Here, you can have this cattle province. Okay, you're happy now. Now, hopefully that'll mean that we actually make progress here. Yep, now we make progress. Okay, very nice. Uh, you can now invest into an idea, cabinet, or do I want to get the tech? I think I'd like the tech. Denied knowledge of privateers. Mercury's opinion. I don't care about Mercury's opinion. I'll let it dip. Uh, move towards legalism. Ah, God damn it! I don't want to be legalistic. It's like the opposite of what I'm trying to do right now. Maybe the game just wants me to be legalistic. Non-accepted culture. Speaking of accepted cultures, is there ever? Ah, let's see. Can I open up the culture map mode? I could promote some of these. I'll probably be converting Tigray away to my own culture. Or maybe the Beja. What do you see as your provinces of importance? Well, I kind of see this culture of Nubia as mine, so I think I might set my... I might set my sights on some of these provinces down here. Just to let my ally know, hey look, this is what I'm looking for. This is an area that I consider mine. And then when it comes to, you know, the Mamluks, obviously. I want, like, all of Alexandria and stuff. It's kind of what I'm looking for. But that's kind of long-term stuff. I'm not too worried about that right now, at, at this exact moment. Ah, uh, let's see. Privateer efficiency. Yeah, I think I'll go for uh, privateer efficiency. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We made some we made some decent progress here. We recovered our army a little bit. We're almost ready to declare war. We almost annexed our vassal. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up and we'll be ready to move on into the next one. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.